Hi guys, for this project, what you're going to be doing is you're gonna have two different phases of the project. Phase one focuses um, solely on using Excel um, to help you gather information, collect data, and then do data analysis on it, come up with a frequency distribution, look at your histograms, and run a regression analysis on it. So for this, what you are going to do as you are looking through, it's broken up into several parts. Phase one, part one, which is just doing a random selection for your universities. And I'll talk about that in another video of how to actually do the random sample. Um, phase one, part two, is going to actually be collecting the data. So once you um, collect the data, what you're going to do is you're gonna collect data on the cost of tuition, cost uh, for both in-state and out-of-state, the average dollar amount proportion, and I will have a video link down here um, that shows you how to use the website um, that you would click on, and it shows you what information you will need to collect. And phase one, part three, this part is gonna take you the longest. This is the part that you're gonna to have to do completely in Excel. It does have to be an Excel document and I will be looking for the built-in formulas. It is not something that I want you to do hand calculations on. This entire project is learning how to do the information um, using computer technology. So I do wanna see all of those um, being done. There are how-to videos for each of the things. Make sure that you just click on the different links for the videos. It shows you how to do them, how I expect you to see it set up, and all of the different things that you have. Um, you will also create a scatter plot and come up with a regression equation. You will be able to come up with a regression equation either using your graphing calculator and you can just type it in, or you can use the Excel. I will have a video that shows you how to do it all in Excel. And then phase two, when you get to it, this part won't become available for a while, but this will all be hand calculations. So when you do the second part, you will use information from your first part um, to be able to do hand calculations for everything else. So phase two won't be open for you right away, um, but when we do get to that, it will be all hand calculations. A couple of quick things that I want to talk about is number one, this does have to be um, phase, or all of phase one needs to be done in Excel. And I advise, since you guys all have access to downloading um, a copy of the newest 2006 Excel onto your computer, I would download it directly from Atlas. So go into your Atlas account and on the very first page, it has Microsoft Office. So I would download the 2016 version because all of the videos that I do use 2016 and it'll make it a lot easier for you because some of the older software, um, they didn't have it formatted the same way. So I would make sure that you download it onto your computer from Atlas. I would not try to do the free online version that you guys have that you can do through the cloud, through the um, Office 365, mainly because of the fact that not all of the features are in the online version. And even if you have a Mac, there are directions on how to download um, Excel in Mac. So make sure that you are using that. Um, for all of phase one, they should be Excel documents. If it's any other kind of document, I will not grade it. For submission for any one of them, what you're going to do is you're gonna click on either the phase one, part one, or phase one, part two, or phase one, part three, or phase two, and this is where you're going to upload your file. So you would just click on it, it says preview upload assignment, and all you have to do is scroll down to where it says browse my computer. And so you would attach files, make sure that you are attaching an Excel document because that's the only thing that I will grade. The other thing that I wanna make sure that you guys understand is that if you are using a Mac, on Mac, if you save your file and you have it open and then try to attach it while it's open, it will attach a temporary document that I can't open. So if you notice that you have a tilde, um, in front of it that that means that it's just a temporary document I can't open it so for any Mac users make sure that you close it before uploading it um, so save it close it and then attach it here after you have uploaded it you will just click submit 
and it should be an Excel document only. So again, to submit any one of them, you're just gonna click on like phase one, part one. You would click on phase one, part two. Um, do make sure that you pay attention to the due dates. If you miss a due date, um, then it will be late and you will get docked points every single day that it's late. Um, it will drop it by a letter grade every single day that it is late, so get it in on time. Um, for phase one, part three, like I said, I would start early on this one. It's going to take you the longest. It is going to take you some time, especially if you do not know how to work with Excel. Do not wait for the last minute to do this. I really hope that this is a good learning experience for you. Um, if you have any questions, please make sure that you reach out to me at any time. Like I said, there are videos for everything. I would watch the videos before starting because that will help you out the most. As always, thanks for watching. Enjoy your project, have fun with it. Hopefully you learn a lot.